you are about to receive from the Lord through prayers according to 1 Thessalonians 5.17 which says pray without season. Join Pastor Dr. Alfred Hajifowe, the General Overseer of Evangelical Christ Apostolic Church as he prophesies to your life. We give all our glories today. Today we want to pray. But before we pray, children of God, I want you to know that Satan is not joking with us. So we are going to ban Satan in our life. Because this book of Psalm 18 verses 45 make us understand that the stranger shall fade away and be, uh, and be afraid of their clothes our places. So children of God, we want to use our prayer to chase Satan away from our life. We are going to pray against time waster. Because Satan has wasted so many people's life and which is not palatable unto our God and is not glorifying God. And anything that is not glorifying God is of devil. So children of God, we are going to pray seriously today against the powers of time waster. You know, time waster is a spirit that can waste someone's life. I don't want your life to be wasted, and likewise God doesn't want it, your life to be wasted. So many people today, their life has been wasted because of wrong prophecy. They will go to wrong prophets and they tell them sweet things that cannot happen. You know, the Bible makes us to understand that we cannot, you know, abide in sin and be expecting the grace of God to abide in our lives. So, children of God, you must know the truth. And because you must know the don't or the do and the don't of prayer, if you want your prayer to be answered. So many people today are struggling. Why? What is the problem? And that are making them to be struggling is because of the power of time waster in their life. Because so many people cannot realize who they are. I remember the story of two friends. You know, one said to his friend that, please, my friend, I want to know about my future. And they both went to the Swiss air. When they got there, the Swiss air said, oh, my friend, your life is very bright. You will be the next king of this kingdom. Either devil like it or not, that your destiny is for you to be king. And that's what was jubilating. I said, Baba, please, I want you to check for my friend too. And he, you know, he asked for the name of his friend. And he said to his friend, he said, your own destiny is very, very uh, terrible. That there is nothing that you can do in life for you to prosper. And one of them left the Swiss here. So the second day, the one that the Swiss here said he will not prosper in life, preached to himself. He said, in life, I will make it. I will prosper. So the brother that the Swiss here said he will not be prosper. The second day, he went to the market and bought cutlasses. And behold, he left the town to another town. He started farming there. There was a great famine in the city as at that time. And the people of the town used to, you know, uh, come to, to him to buy food. So, and he would sell free food to the palace of that city. And everybody was happy with the, uh, with the farmer. And uh, after some time, after the, you know, after the famine, there was, you know, the, 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 the king of that city died. And the city, the people of the city, our people are now saying the, the, the king makers should look for another king. But everybody in the city was now telling the uh, uh, king maker that we don't need king, another king. God Almighty have chosen king for us before our king died. They said, who's the king? Who's the next king that God have chosen for them? They said, the, the, the farmer who have been feeding us during the time of, uh, of the famine, but because he has been sending free food to, uh, to the palace too. That is the one that we want. So all the kingmakers, 
They met together, they asked their oracle, and the oracle approved him. And that was how they made this man to be, uh, to be king of that city. But the one that the uh, soothsayer said he will be king, you know, could not do anything, did not work. He was putting out a big garment for people to recognize him, to be, you know, for him to be the next uh, king without any job, without getting married. He was just walking up and down. And, uh, you know, his time was being wasted. So please, children of God, don't allow Swissair or faith fiction to waste your time in life. It's the work of Satan to, you know, to use t uh, tricks to waste someone's life. Your life will never be wasted in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So we are going to pray that Lord, deliver me from the power of time waster. Because power of time waster is a life waster. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. I still want us to pray that Lord, I deliver me from the power of busy without purpose. You, if you are in that condition, please pray it very well. God will listen to you. He will deliver you. He's here. He's hearing you now. Just begin to tell him, Lord, deliver me from every power that made me to be, you know, to be busy without any purpose. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. So that's the point of prayer, another point of prayer. Lord, the power of time waster that is following me, let that power be buried today. Enough is enough for his oppression in our life. Begin to pray unto God. Let that power be buried. Let that power be buried. Let that power be buried. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. So we are still going to pray. Lord, withdraw my life from the cage of time waster that I find myself. So many people and check their life. They have seen that they are being caged by the power of time waster. And they cannot deliver themselves. You cannot deliver yourself, but God can deliver you. So you need to pray unto God. Lord, today, deliver me from the cage of time waster. Set me free. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. We are still going to pray another prayer. Lord, redeem my wasted Days are my wasted year. Lord, you are the one that created me. I'm not the one that created myself. Lord, if you redeem all those, uh, you know, time that have been wasted or years that have been wasted in my life, things will be new in my life and things will change. Father, Lord, today, redeem all those times that have been wasted. Lord, today help me. Don't allow Satan to prevail. In the mighty name of Jesus, enough is enough. Daddy, send me free. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. We are going to pray another point of prayer. Lord, every opportunity that has been wasted in my life, I redeem them back for me today. In the mighty name of Jesus, my God can do it. He will do it for you. So shall it be. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. So we are going to pray another prayer point again. That Lord, every garment of time waster that is upon me, remove it and let your fire from above consume that garment today. In the mighty name of Jesus, put the enemy to be ashamed over my life. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Another point of prayer that I want you to pray, that Lord, every spirit that is not of you, that is causing a time waster in my life, or that is wasting my life, let such spirit be banned today in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, let there be victory over time waster, life waster in our life, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. So let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Almighty God, we thank you because of our Father. Daddy, we thank you because you answer us prayer. Lord, we worship you, we give adoration unto you, Lord. Daddy, as ever in the name of Jesus. Lord, today we call upon you. Everyone that listening to me today, I pray that the power of time waster that have been wasting 
at your time, for long time. That power and then that comes to that power today in your life in the name of Jesus. From today, every powers of time waster, enough is enough for your operation. The, the power that doesn't allow those who are ripe enough to get married, the powers of time waster that you know did not allow those who are already married to have fruit of, of the womb. I pray that today, enough is enough for your operation. Power of time waster in the life of people that are hearing me now. Lord, destroy that power in the name of Jesus. Wherever they do that evil that is causing time wasting in someone's life now, I pray that that evil shall be broken in the name of Jesus. Whatever that they do in the satanic calabash, I break it today in the name of Jesus. Your life will move forward in the name of Jesus. No more backward in the name of Jesus. Testimony will be a portion. Evil spirit will fail over our lives. In the name of Jesus, evil, uh, every wrong uh, uh, prophecy, I cancel it. Every wrong dream, I cancel it. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy today in the life of everyone that are hearing me, that is, uh, you know, that I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm in trouble. I pray that peace that we speak to your life today in the name of Jesus. Have peace today. No more trouble in the name of Jesus. Oh, bad dream that is causing a, 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 a time waster in your life. I cast that dream. That bad dream is not your portion in the name of Jesus. Every satanic hand that is feeding you in your dream, such hands shall be withered in the name of Jesus. You know, eating of the dream is no more to, from today in the name of Jesus. Every evil tree or plant that have been planted in in someone's life, in the dream, I uproot it today in the name of Jesus. Every expectation of the enemy we fail over your life, we fail over your children, we fail over your, your business in the name of Jesus. Sickness or any disease will never visit your home in the name of Jesus. Peace of the Lord will be your portion in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. Oh, and, oh Lord, I pray concerning our country, the peace of the Lord will reign in the name of Jesus. The whole world at large, peace will reign. In the name of Jesus, no more sickness, no more calamity, no more sorrow. In the name of Jesus, our economy will not crumble. In the name of Jesus, power of time waster over our business is over. In the name of Jesus, peace be reign, peace be reign. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen and amen. In Jesus' name, I believe God Almighty have answered our prayer. Do you need counseling or more prayer? Please, you can contact me on the uh, telephone number on the screen. And God Almighty will surely uh, intervene to your matter. And uh, I know that testimony will follow the prayer that we pray today in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank God for today's prayer session. We believe that God has answered all your prayers. For more information, you can visit our website on www.ecacaonline.org. Like our Facebook page at ECAC Worldwide. Also, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel at ECAC Worldwide. Thank you. Five thousand with a little boy's lunch. Baby, let me walk. I can see them wrong. Everything you do.